Corey Sandag in 16 and 4, taking on Rob Font, who's taking this fight on short notice. It was announced on July 20th that Font would be replacing Umar Nurmagomedov. This is a catch weight at 140 pounds. As always, one half of your hosting duo, Craig Allen, Twitter X and Instagram at Craig Allen FNP. Matt Allen on vacation, much deserved. He never takes them. The kid grinds it out every single week. So listen, kudos to him, and I know he's having a good time. You can find him at Matt Allen FNP. When we look at this fight, it's an awesome one. Rob Font, every person and their dog slept on him his last time out against Adrian Yanez. And listen, I'm not going to peacock because I get picks wrong every single week. I've had one card... In my whole life of doing this, where I get every pick right, once that happened, I get picks wrong all the time. I pick Rob Font to beat Adrian Yanez, and I got obliterated in the comments section. So now Rob Font's coming in to take on Corey Sandhagen. Font's this odd outlier where, does he fight for the title? No. Has he had fight of the nights? Yeah, he's had fight of the nights. Does he have performances? Yeah. These two guys combine four fight of the nights between them and ten bonuses total. That's awesome. Con DeMercy in the comment section saying, Corey, easy. Uh, Jason saying, Rob could TKO, but yeah. I mean, if you look at it for Rob Font, we talk about boxers with a crazy volume advantage over everybody, 135, 145. And we talk about the Calvin Caters of the world, the Max Holloways of the world. And we never talk about Rob Font. Remember back when Rob Font was fighting Sergio Pettis. Remember back when Rob Font was fighting... Marlon Morais, before Marlon was losing to guys you might have never heard of with PFL. Like, Rob Font went on this run where he beats Pettis, beats Ricky Simone. That carries a lot of weight, right? Remember Ricky Simone's fight against Song Yidong in a main event not that long ago? Rob Font and Corey Sandhagen have combined for eight main events since 2020. These guys have been in the marquee. They've been in the limelight. So the five rounds don't scare me, even though Rob Font's taking the fight on short notice. Like, there's a lot of reason to love this fight because both guys can defend some of the takedowns. Both guys can throw on orthodox shots and then get clipped. Corey Sandhagen fought for that interim belt, didn't get it done against Piotr Jan. And so I guess, as people say, it is what it is. Jordan Heath saying, new guy. New guy. So are you taking the new guy in this one? I'd like to know. Um... Gas Gas saying, by the way, came in late. Who did Craig and Matt have? Ode versus the new guy. Yeah, the new guy. Uh, but when you do look at a fight like this, I mean, Font with his boxing, it is so crisp. He can get it done in the phone booth. He can get it done at range. He made it a masterclass when he took on the former champ, Cody Garbrandt. He looked, you know, human against Jose Aldo. Didn't get it done. And against Marlon Vera, he got touched up. And in both those fights, they were tough to see. And that's why he wasn't favored against Adrian Yanez. So I do understand that one. But when you do look at a fight like this, I mean, Sandhagen just continues to get nasty in these fights. And Font was due, Song Yudong, fight falls out. Font gets this one against, uh, you know, Corey Sandhagen. Nurmagomedov's out, Font comes in. But you look at the last two fights. The Marlon Vera fight is... And again, I don't curse on this channel because we want to keep the monetization status. But let's look at those scorecards. Sal D'Amato, the voice of reason. 50-45 Sandhagen. Uh, Judge Chris Lee, 49-46 Sandhagen. Over the top rope. Last week I said Evan Bourne. Rob Van Dam's the talk of the town tonight with AEW. So I'll say Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Guy's got to point at himself when he does his name. Joel Oyeda. Round 3, 4, and 5 Vera. Uh, MMA decisions, 24-24, scoring it for Sandhagen. Judge Joel Oyeda, what are we doing, Papa? I didn't understand that at all. Big Ben Davis, Bain, doing it over on the Calabasas Fight Club. K kudos to him. Credit to him. Uh, with the guy that, uh, you know, said he could beat Demetrius Johnson. I didn't watch it, but I'm assuming they had a good time. When you consider it for Corey Sandhagen, who is a B-Shop guy, that's got to be said. And I just noticed that I messed up the Rob Font graphic and I left the name bar too long for it. But listen, we're having fun. We're all here. We're enjoying things. Um, when you do consider it for Sandhagen, Ninja Elbows, Trap Lord saying that. Really good volume. Tough as a $2 steak. And we saw him lose to the now champ so quickly against Aljamain Sterling back in 2020. Lost in a minute, 28 seconds. He lost to TJ Dillashaw by split decision. Dillashaw, Killashaw, Dalla Dalla Billashaw, Karen Bryant. It'll be interesting to see what version of Sandhagen we get. Because if we get the guy that has a close fight against TJ Dillashaw, where most people thought that Sandhagen won, but it was a close fight. 
and we're arguing about it today, I, I can't wait to see it. And and I do have, again, a hard time on this one. If we do have a look at Fight Night Picks, you guys do a great job here. Let's go over into the chat. I mean, 81% of you folks going with Corey Sandhagen. And if you have the opportunity to toss a like, hey, that's much appreciated too. We're not even over 100 likes right now. And I'm expecting us to get like three, four, five hundred throughout the week. So listen, we're later on in the week. We got to get this done. It's late on a Wednesday night. I I have a hard time with this one. I know the Matt Allen pick on it. Uh, and if we look in the community tab, 90% going with Corey Sandhagen. Matt has Sandhagen. I have Sandhagen as well. But Rob Font's got a great opportunity on short notice. And I had Font to beat Adrian Yanez. Why? Because Yanez... He can freeze in some of his fights. Corey Sandhagen, I don't see that much, uh, as much out of him. And Sandhagen's kind of a new age Ferguson in some of his striking. But he doesn't get dropped. And he doesn't tend to get hit as much. But he doles out that same type of punishment. So for me in this matchup, I do have Corey Sandhagen. But some amazing fights throughout this week. I mean, 12 total on this card. I think Matt and I were split on a few of them. But if there's stars, two Canadians right? on the card, oh doesn't that usually make for a big time success? Yeah, it does, guy, way out there. Uh, it was funny when I started the video off that way. It's not as funny when uh, they're set to play after a while. So that was kind of weird, but a lot of really good one, uh, good fights to check out throughout this week. I'll have question mark kicks on Saturday. I'll recap the fights live. And if you missed anything, go back through, watch the videos again. But the craziest part about this is... This fight card's awesome. I love it. Sandhagen font, the Music City. Uh, it's awesome to see the return there because the last time that they fought in Nashville was that Wonder Boy fight against Pettis. That was a great card. Before that, 2017, Cub Swanson, Artem Lobov was a real main event in MMA. And then, of course, the co-main to that was I Quinta taking on Diego Sanchez. But if you do look at it, the next one after that, RDA taking on Vicente Luque. There's so many storylines on that one. And I'm going to do a Fight Night Picks video. Like, listen, here, let's get crazy. Make it weird. We're doing it live. I'm on the, the right-hand side. The graphic's on the left-hand side. That's never happened before. We're breaking the fourth wall. I'm going to do a whole new way to shoot the video next week. And you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. But I'll tell you what. I put a lot of prep work into this one. And I'm going to, like... I'm not going to spill the beans. I put a video, a teaser out there on Twitter. My wife knows what I'm doing, and one of my friends knows what I'm doing. Not even Matt knows what I'm doing. So that's a big tease, but I hope you guys really enjoy it. I mean, listen, putting the work in and fighting eight picks, and you always got to try and do some new things out there. So toss a like on your way out if you could. Enjoy the fights. I know you will. Keep it locked in with fighting eight picks. And as we always say, let's get into it.